G'day folks and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to tackle the uh, data segment. So first of all, what is the data segment? Well, the data segment is where global variables are held. So if we say in our C file int i equals 10 uh, outside of any function, that's obviously going to be a global variable and uh, it's going to be sitting in a spot in RAM that we call the data segment. Um, the data segment that this side of the world uses, the data segment that the um, C++ side of the world uses, and the data segment that the assembly side of the world uses is the same one. If we define something in the data segment here in the uh, assembly side of things, it's going to be very near to this, uh, you know, were we to take the address of the I with a pointer. Something like, um, if we go void my proc, maybe int j equals 9, this j just here is not a global variable, it's uh, local to my proc and it won't be stored in the data segment, it will be stored in the stack segment. Anyway, we can look at stack segments and uh, local variables later. This tutorial is about the data segment. Ok. Um, to reserve something on the uh, in the data segment, all we have to do is give it a name, so maybe my byte then we say the size of it, which is a byte here, and then we say an initial value. Okay, so it's pretty much just like this label, and p size, what in the world? <laughs> size, okay, that's better, and then initial value, slash question mark I'll put. If you don't care what it's initialized to, um, instead of putting the number there, you put a question mark to mean that um, whatever happens to be in RAM um, when Windows runs our program and gives us the data segment, whatever happens to be in RAM will uh, suit us fine. Okay, so what are the sizes? First of all there's um, bytes and you can use either DB, short for defined byte, you can use byte like we did above or you can say S byte to mean signed byte. If you want to reserve two bytes at once, you can use um, DW for define word, you can use word, or you can use sword. Sword's obviously um, short word, oh, not short word, sorry, signed word, S word. There's also um, double words, which are DD for define double word, um, D word is another way of doing this, or SD word for signed double words. So signed double words is exactly the same as um, int in C. There's also quad words, and for that we use DQ, short for defined quad word, or we use Q word, or we can use SQ word. And all of these four will allow you to specify an initial value. You can use a question mark or you can specify an initial value. Um, these final two, XMM word, which is um, sometimes called a paragraph. There's only one way that I know of to de declare this, and it's just um, XMM word. And this is the SSE data size, and it's 128 bits or 16 bytes. Um, yeah, like I was just indicating, you can't specify a value for an XMM word, you have to use the question mark. So, well, if that's the name of our variable, that line won't compile, but this will. It'll just reserve 16 bytes, and it'll call it um, FGHJK. Okay, and the other one is uh, YMM word, and I only know how to say, uh, I only know one way to say this, YMM word. I think these are sometimes called double paragraphs, and this is paragraphs. Anyway, this is for AVX, and it's 256 bits long, very, very large, or 32 bytes. And just like the XMM word above, you can only use the question mark. Okay? It's interesting to note that even if your CPU isn't uh, AVX capable, you can still reserve 32 bytes with um, a YMM word directive if you like. It's um, just that you can't use the instructions. You get it. Uh, legal instruction exception from your CPU. Okay, um, there's a few real values as well, or floating point values. We've got um, what C calls a float is um, real 4, 
and what C calls a double in assembly we call a real 8. The um, 4 and 8 here is a reference to the number of bytes in each, so a float, if you do um, size of in C++, you'll see that it's 4 bytes long, and a double, if you take the size of a double, you'll see that it's 8 bytes long. And there is another one, which, um, I don't know what C calls it, but um, it's real 10. So this is 10 bytes long, and uh, it's used by the x87 floating point unit, which uh, is largely legacy nowadays. Mostly we use um, SSE to perform floating point operations, but uh, it is interesting to note that the x87, the old floating point unit, has um, an extra two bytes of precision over C++'s double. Anyway, we can talk about the floating point unit some other time. What I do want to mention is that um, with each of these, each of the um, floating point types, actually I should mention that this is sometimes called a single, and this you'll see called a double, mm. and this, I don't know what that's called, extended precision or something. Um, yeah, I wanted to say that if you specify an initial value for a float, say we've got um, my float, I'll be really creative, shall I? And real 4, if we say we want to set it to 10, that's not going to work. This line's not going to work. You have to put the um, decimal point in and uh, 0 to indicate that um, you're setting the initial value of a floating point number, not an integer. Does that make sense? Of course we've got the option of um, just putting a question mark there as well if we don't care what it's set to. Okay, so that's um, that's the basic um, types that we can set. Let's talk about setting um, arrays in the data segment. Um, my byte array db 1000 dup and 0. Okay, this is how we set up an array in um, the data segment. So this says um, define byte and we want a thousand of them and for each of those we want to duplicate the value 0. Does that make sense? This is going to give us um, a single dimensional array from 0 to 999 of um, bytes and they're all going to be set to 0. We could, of course, here put the question mark, and that would mean um, give us a thousand bytes in the data segment, but we don't care what they're set to. Um, okay, so a multi-dimensional array. If we use um, my word array, we go DW, maybe 10, dup. All you have to do is, uh, in this bracket here, where you're specifying what it is that you want to duplicate 10 times, you put another dup. So, um, 6. What does this mean? Well, this means give us a 2D array. The dimensions are 10 and 7. Uh, each element is um, a word because of the um, define word directive. And each element is also, it's going to be set to 6. Alrighty, so that's going to give us um, 70 words or 140 bytes. And every second byte is going to be set to 6. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, um, there's another way to define a um, array. This might be a bit simpler, but um, well, let's see. My var db. Okay, that's going to give us a four-byte array called my var in the data segment, and the first will be set to one, the second will be set to two, the third will be set to three, the fourth will be set to four. If you want to define it. Um, a byte array using the um, string syntax. That's no worries as well. There we go, we put on the end as a zero. Um, right here we've just defined a byte array and those are the bytes in the array followed by a zero. So this is actually a null terminated string, what they call a null terminated string. And uh, yeah, that's another way to define an array. I want you to be um, I want you to know that uh, double quotes and single quotes are the same to assembly. 
we could use either of those and it would produce exactly the same result. Okay, something interesting to note is that you can say um, my D word um, what do we want to do here? D, D, A, B, C, D. Okay, we can define a double word, which is four bytes long, and we can specify a little string for it, if we like. That's probably quite a confusing way to define a double word's initial value, but uh, you can if you like. Alrighty. So the final thing, and I hope this isn't too confusing, but the final thing is that we can um, use the DUP syntax, the duplicate syntax, with um, that small array syntax that we just said. Um, yeah, we can use them together. So my, let's just call it other array, db, we'll say 10 of them, dup. Okay, what is this going to do? Well, um, in RAM, the first thing it's going to do is uh, read this. So there's four bytes, oh, sorry, five bytes here, set to one, two, three, four, five and it's going to duplicate that 10 times. So we've got to put that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right there. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see what's happened here. Right there, that's what it's going to do. It's going to duplicate whatever it sees in the, break, in the brackets um, 10 times because of the 10 there. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, yeah, that's defining data in the data segment. Um, we can look at defining structures and uh, other more complicated things later, but that's the basics of it. Thank you for listening.